is sports fans on this late Thursday night, September 7th, 2017, early Friday morning, September 8th, 2017, those of you on the Eastern Time Zone, it is time now for sports right up on this late Thursday night, September 8th, 2017, Thursday night, September 7th, 2017, I have you, Jay Wiggins. Let's start it off at Gillette Damon Foxborough with a New England Patriots took on the Kansas City Chiefs in the first week of the NFL season. And it was a wonderful ceremony. And Valen Banner number five. And the Patriots got off to a good start. Mike Gilsley, two yard run. Steven Gaskowski kick is good to make it seven up and fitted the Patriots. And then the Patriots started to go for it on a fourth and one, but the Chiefs defense stopped him and then. Demetrius Harris gets a 7 yard pass from Alex Smith to tie it 7 apiece, and then Guskowski gets a 25 yard field goal to make it 10 7 pass. And then Gilsley, 2 yard run to make it 17 7 pass. And then Fremont, 3 yard pass from Alex Smith to make it 17 14 pass at halftime break. And then Tyreek Hill, 75 yard pass from Alex Smith to make it 21 17 Chiefs on top. And then Mike Gilsley again, a one yard run to make it 24 21 pass. And then Gus Kasky, 32 yard field goal to make it 27 21 pass to three quarters. And the Patriots and Chiefs were balanced. But then in the fourth quarter, that's when a Remont 78 yard pass by Matt Smith to make it 28 27 Chiefs. And then Hunt, four yard run to make it 35 27. And Chenrick West, 21 yard run. Count sets the kick is good as the Patriots got shot by the Kansas City Chiefs. At Gillette, 42-27 as the Patriots have lost for the, to the Chiefs at home for the first time since December 2nd, 1990, in which the Pats got smacked 37-7 by the Chiefs. Tom Brady, 16 for 36 for 267 yards and no touchdowns as Brady was frustrated by this Kansas City D Chiefs defense who came to play and ready to battle. And they deserve the win as Alex Smith, 28 for 35, 360 yards, and four touchdowns as next of the Pats. They'll be down to New Orleans next Sunday for date with the New Orleans Saints. Well, Patriots fans, well, it is one week, it's one game, and the Pats have ran into a bus off. But let's think positive. The last time the Patriots lost a season opener was down in Miami in 2014 to the Dolphins, in which they lost. And the last time the Patriots lost to the Chiefs, they got spanked 42 14 in that Monday night massacre in Kansas City. And they were 2 2. You know what? They got them in 2014 after 2 2. A Super Bowl. So, no worries, Patriots fans. It's still one game and one loss. And hopefully, Brady, Belichick, and the Patriots will have enough time to sort out what went wrong and try to fix things. And fix things right and focus on New Orleans next Sunday. Still a my Pats fan, no matter what happens. And Brady and the uh, Pats have got a lot of weapons and it's on the New Orleans. All right, looking at some Major League Baseball scores. San Diego Padres over the St. Louis Cardinals 3 to nothing. Kyle Rocky, Lena Nelly, Dodgers 6 1 and top of the 6. You have Yankee Sup, the uh, Baltimore Orioles 9 to 1. Chicago Cubs over the Pittsburgh Pirates 8 to 2. Washington Nationals at a Philadelphia Phillies, 4-3. New York Mets with the Cincinnati Reds, 7-2. Atlanta Braves edge out the Miami Marlins, 6-5. Since Cleveland Indians over the Chicago White Sox, 11-2. And the Minnesota Twins over the Kansas City Royals, 4-2. And take a look at the Sendings. The Sox lead over the Yankees now three and a half games. And in the AL Central, Cleveland's got an 11-game lead on the Minnesota Twins. They are now fifth. 15 games in a row they won for the Indians. And Houston has got a comfortable 14 and a half game lead on the LA Angels in the first place in the AL West. Meanwhile, in the, and at least the Washington Nationals have a 19 game lead on the Miami Marlins. Chicago Cubs a 5 game lead over the Brewers and the Cardinals in the NL Central. And LA Dodgers a 10 half game lead on the Arizona Diamondbacks. And the wild card teams will be New York Yankees and Minnesota. And the NL wild card teams are Arizona and Colorado. The Norton Lancers girls, the girls soccer team, open up the young season at Adams Field in a 10 nothing thrashing over the Bellingham Blackhawks. 
Michelle Belcher. Four goals. Count them. Four goals. In the 10 up and win over the Bellman Blackhawks and the Not Lancers Boys soccer team defeated Bellman on the road 6 to 1. And the Not Lancers volleyball team dropped to Westwood 3 to 0. And the Boss and the JV soccer, girls soccer team defeated Bellman 6 to 0. So 3 out of 4 for the Lancers. Ain't bad at all. Okay, looking at some sports news on this late Thursday and early Friday morning. Cleveland Cavs have potential to be scary good with Isaiah Thompson and Jake Crowder, General LeBron. Sloan Stevens beats Venus Williams in the face, Madison Keats by U.S. Open title. Yep, Notre Dame isn't the Georgia's first game far from the North Carolina Mason's six line since 1965. NFL rejects police reunion request, won't investigate Mark Paul Bennett. Kevin Summer received racist hate mail and wake the loss at UCLA. Florida cancels football game against North Carolina due to Hurricane Irma. Bennett purpose and arms as Packers Seahawks highlight NFL openers. Colin Kaepernick has done more than make a statement. He has shown NFL players their power. Seminoles Gators canceled games as Hurricane Irma purchased Florida. Demi Amado ruled out after seven headed injury. Hugh Jackson dismisses Notion and Miles Garrett as injury prone. Cleveland Browns release Calvin Pryor after discovering a teammate. Roger Goodell is a chill at and fans are wearing shirts trailing him. Odell Beckham Jr. misses practice in high tower hurts knee. And only Roger Goodell can turn Ezekiel Ellen to a figure, and that is gonna be it for Sports Roundup on this late Thursday night, September 7th, early Friday morning, September 8th, 2017. I appear here to be a good night with a good Friday through the night. See you tomorrow night. Hope y'all have a good night.